we now examine the next value of i in this range and that is index 2. So now we have to examine all values in the range 2 plus 1 which is 3 up to but not including len of data which is also 3 and that is an empty range. So there are no values of j here. So where is the red arrow going to go when I click next? Well, I have not managed to do the body of the for loop and also I did not encounter a break statement anywhere. I never even went into the for loop. So I will go into the else case. Remember that the meaning of the else case is simply no break and certainly we did not encounter a break when we were trying to run the for loop. This is also the case when we never even go into the body of the for loop. So in case you had that possible doubt, it's good to try this out on your own and confirm. Here we are increasing the count by 1 because this occurrence of the string at index 2 is the last occurrence of this value in this list. It's the only occurrence of this value in the list but it's also the last occurrence. So now we will increase the count from 1 to 2 and now we will try the next value of i. Now again there are no more values of i, no more legal indices after 2 so this for loop will end and finally we will return the count. So we have found two unique items in this list. That is what we wanted, that was what the doc test told us. So we will click on next, return this value and finally this value will get printed. Again, I encourage you to practice with this Python tutor link. Change the values of the entries in the list and confirm that you believe this code.